Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Jocelyn Donovan, the CPNP for Niwasa Kandaswin Tag. Thank you so much for joining me today to talk about healthy eating during pregnancy. I am hoping to bust a few myths and provide you with the information that you need to be as healthy as possible. Again, I want to emphasize that the staff at Niwasa and I are not here to judge anyone. Food and nutrition can be a sensitive topic and not everyone has access to fresh food or has time to prepare meals every day. I understand, but I'm hoping to guide you through the complex world of prenatal nutrition. On a personal note, my big cravings during pregnancy were sushi and spicy chicken burgers. <laughs> and I had both and they were delicious. And you might be thinking, but Jocelyn, isn't sushi on that big long list of food that I'm not meant to have when pregnant? The answer is kind of. So sushi itself is fine, but raw fish is what you want to avoid. And you can absolutely find sushi that's made with cooked fish or that's vegetarian. So if that's your craving, go for it. I thought it would be fun to play a bit of true or false in this video. So let's do our first question now. True or false? When you're pregnant, the baby eats what you eat. False, <laughs> not exactly. Uh, your food goes through the same processes that it always does. So food enters your mouth, down the esophagus, into your stomach, where it is dissolved in stomach acid. Then that um, kind of smoothie of food and acid goes into your small intestine and your large intestine where the nutrients are absorbed into your bloodstream. And then the bloodstream delivers those nutrients to the placenta and to the amniotic fluid. So your baby will get the nutrients that you get, but no, they aren't eating exactly the food that you eat. Now, one of the most common questions during early pregnancy is, what am I allowed to eat? When I was pregnant for the first time, I was overwhelmed by the list of food that I thought I wasn't allowed to have anymore. Um, I read blogs and listicles about pregnancy nutrition and I had a list of 20 foods that I thought I wasn't allowed to eat. But then I realized that the sources I was reading were not written by doctors or nurses. They were mostly written by people who were trying to get more hits on their website. So people will write things that are attention grabbing like 18 foods pregnant women can't eat or five pregnancy mistakes that you're making right now. Be wary of any article that sounds like it's trying to scare you. Um, most foods are reasonably safe to eat during pregnancy and there are just a few that you really need to avoid. So on our list of foods to avoid, raw fish, especially fish that you buy in a store can have pathogens on it that can, that can cause severe illness in the mom and can result in a miscarriage. Large fish, especially from the ocean, can have high levels of mercury. Avoid eating shark, swordfish, or big-eyed tuna. This is unfortunate result of human interference in the ocean's ecosystem. Mercury in your food can cause heavy metal poisoning and can result in miscarriage while pregnant or birth defects in the infant. You'll also need to avoid undercooked meat, so you have to make sure that the internal temperature reaches at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit for chicken and 160 degrees Fahrenheit for other meats. You also need to avoid raw eggs as they can contain salmonella, unpasteurized milk, cheese, and juices, and alcohol. You also need to limit your intake on some other foods like caffeine. Caffeine can be found in coffee, tea, chocolate, energy drinks, cola, anything like that. You wanna limit that to 200 milligrams a day. That's about one medium coffee. You'll also want to avoid high sodium foods like fast food and chips. High sodium can raise your blood pressure, resulting in pregnancy complications. 
There are also some foods you'll need to modify a little bit, like cold cuts. If you heat them up on the stove or in the microwave, that can kill off any bacteria or pathogens that could be harmful to you or the baby. You'll want to wash produce very thoroughly. And if you're cooking with alcohol, cook it for a little bit longer so all of the alcohol evaporates and you're just left with the taste. Otherwise, just eat. My general rule of thumb for all people, pregnant or otherwise, is eat mostly whole foods. Now, when I talk about whole foods, I mean foods that have not gone through any processes between when they were grown and when they're sold. So, for example, an apple is a whole food. It grows on a tree, you pick it, buy it, eat it. No extra processes took place here. On the other hand, bear paws are not whole foods. The food product has been processed many times in order to create this delicious little cookie. All fruits, vegetables, all unprocessed meat, seeds, nuts, and grains are whole foods. Of course, I don't expect you to cut out all processed food. I certainly haven't and didn't during my pregnancy, but the more whole foods you eat, the healthier you will feel. True or false? Fish is harmful for pregnant women. False. Fish is an important part of a person's diet, but it is especially important during pregnancy. The World Health Organization recommends consuming at least 150 grams of cooked fish every week. This is because fish contains folic acid, which helps with cell division, an important process when you're growing a human in your uterus. Folic acid prevents neural tube defects in babies such as spina bifida. Fish such as cod, flounder, haddock, salmon, tilapia, and freshwater trout are all low mercury fish that can be enjoyed cooked during pregnancy. If you don't like the taste of fish, you can also find folic acid in spinach, lentils, beans, okra, asparagus, chickpeas, and leafy greens. And of course, your prenatal vitamin is full of folic acid to help your growing baby. True or false? If I eat plenty of whole foods during my pregnancy, I don't need to take a prenatal vitamin. False. Taking prenatal vitamins in addition to a healthy diet is the best way to grow a healthy little human. Next, I would like to talk about gestational diabetes. So what is gestational diabetes? According to the CDC, Gestational diabetes is a type of diabetes that is first seen in pregnant women who did not have diabetes before she was pregnant. Your doctor or midwife will send you for a test around the middle of your pregnancy. During the test, you'll have your blood drawn. Then you're going to have to drink this really horrible orange fizzy drink. It kind of tastes like orange crush mixed with swamp water. But do it anyway because it can save your life. So you drink the drink, they take more blood, they measure your levels before and after, and they determine whether or not you have gestational diabetes. So what are the risks of gestational diabetes? Gestational diabetes can cause your baby to grow too big too fast. The baby is overfed on the extra sugar in your blood and they can grow too big to deliver vaginally. This greatly increases the chances of having a cesarean or C-section. The baby may also be born with some nerve damage, and GD can also add to high blood pressure, which can cause premature birth or even a stroke or seizure during, uh, in the mother during labor. So how do you avoid or control gestational diabetes? Eat whole food. Engage in regular low intensity exercise, and if you have been diagnosed with GD, check your blood sugar regularly. True or false? It is normal to gain as much as 30 pounds during your pregnancy. True. <laughs> if you are an average weight, it is recommended to gain 25 to 35 pounds by the end of your pregnancy. If you are overweight or obese, it is recommended to gain 20 pounds. Most of that weight comes from the baby, the placenta, the amniotic fluid, and the extra blood in your veins. That's right. When you're pregnant, you have about three times as much blood running through your veins. Isn't the human body cool? 
don't worry if you gain a bit more or less than the recommended 25 to 35 pounds. I gained 40 with each of my girls and the three of us are all healthy, happy, active ladies. <laughs> but if you do see yourself reaching upwards of that 35 pounds, talk to your doctor or midwife about any health implications. True or false, pregnant women should drink at least four liters of water a day. False. Doctors recommend drinking about 20 ounces or two liters of water a day during pregnancy. That's about 10 glasses of water. If you're anything like me, you'll find yourself feeling thirsty all the time during your pregnancy. Remember, the best thing for your body is water. If that gets boring, you can mix it up by putting in some fruit slices or cinnamon stick. I really like cinnamon apple water. It tastes really yummy. One of the best ways to keep yourself eating healthy food is meal planning. I have created this template for you so you can use it to make your own meal plans. When you sign up for programming, mention you would like a meal planning sheet and we'll make sure to get one for you in the bundles. We have days of the week, the meal you have planned, the ingredients you'll have to get, and it's a two week meal plan. So you can plan out two meals in advance. And on the back, we have a shopping list with all the different areas of a grocery store. Well, hopefully that will help you to make some healthy choices for your family. But make sure you put in some chicken nuggets or a pizza night here and there, or else you are going to drive yourself wild. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned more about healthy eating during your pregnancy. And please let me know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks, or if you wanna share some of your pregnancy cravings or anything else, we'd love to hear from you. Also, if there's anything in this series that you would like to know more about, or if you'd like to see me do an episode on something, please let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, goodbye.